Hey guys, it's Dr. Justin Marcajana here. Today's video is gonna be on fingernails and your health. We'll be making the functional medicine fingernail connection. What does it mean? What do your fingernails tell you? What are the key nutrients? What are deeper things you should look at when you see poor fingernail health? All right, so let's dive in. What do your fingernails tell you? So the first thing is, what are the key building blocks that go into making your fingernails? So one of the first things is gonna be fats, fatty acids. So we have things like saturated fats, we have omega-3s, we have fat-soluble vitamins. So the big ones are gonna be E, K, and A for sure, okay? These are really important building blocks. We also have B vitamins, B12, also biotin. Biotin is actually B7, really important building blocks as well. Um, and also amino acids. Amino acids are really big. And then kind of collagen fits into this amino acid connection. So really important building blocks. So when I see any of these nutrients missing from the diet, of course we're gonna be making a diet and lifestyle changes. Anti-inflammatory, nutrient dense, low toxin diet. We're gonna make sure we're eating these really good foods. We're gonna make sure inflammatory foods like grains and dairy and things like that are, are pulled out or at least significantly reduced to help absorb those nutrition. And then obviously the next thing, if we're eating those foods and we can't break them down, hydrochloric acid, enzymes, and bile salts are really, really, really important because if we don't have the digestive building blocks, that's really, really big. So of course a big one is digestion. So we have to make sure we have the ability to break all these things down. And that's gonna be hydrochloric acid, enzymes, and then bile, really important. Most people that are stressed and they have their sympathetic nervous system in overdrive, they already have adrenal symptoms, they're anxious, they have brain fog, they may have estrogen dominance or female hormone issues, they may have a lot of brain fog or anxiety or mood issues. That level of stress, that sympathetic nervous system activation is gonna really shut down their ability to digest foods. And then the next thing after that is gonna be potential infections. The more your immune system is compromised, the more you have an inability to um, you know, have good, strong immune function, you're open up to infections. And the more you have infections, the more that creates more internal stress, essentially. All right, so really important. So different patterns of fingernail. So we have just your typical vertical ridging, right? So if here's your fingernail, we just have these gentle lines like this. And if you run your finger over across it like this, you feel those bumps. And again, different essential fatty acids and amino acids can really create issues there. Um, we also have various pitting patterns, little pits, and you can like run your finger over there, you can feel that. That can be psoriasis or autoimmune things can have a major effect on that. Also, I should say one other nutrient here that's important that gets missed a lot is gonna be iron. And iron's important because Vegan vegetarian diets are low in iron. They're also low in B12. Uh, and then also this could be from estrogen dominance. So females who have too much menstruation, too much bleeding, they're bleeding too much, they're gonna be losing a lot of iron in, in their menstruation every month. So that's really important. So a lot of times hormonal issues can have an effect. So we have these generalized patterns here. Uh, we also have some patterns where there's kind of little white spots on there. That can be from trauma too, but that also can be from low zinc. See, another one, look at this. It's the gift that keeps on giving. Okay, so these little spots can be from low zinc. They can also be from trauma. We also have things like um, Bose lines, which are like horizontal lines across here, like closer to the base, and that can be indicative of kidney disease or liver disease, more serious diseases. You would never diagnose the disease with this, but you would see people that are diagnosed with these conditions, hey, by the way, this person was diagnosed with kidney disease or liver issues and we noticed these things on the nails. So people make this correlation over time, seeing people diagnosed and then you'd see the nails. Most people aren't gonna get diagnosed by seeing their nails, but it's nice to look at it. And then we have Terry's nails, which are more at the tip. It's kind of a white spot at the, at the tip. Bose lines are gonna be more like a vertical ridging, but like across the sides. And then Terry's lines gonna be white at the tip. So Terry's, Bose, we have the white spots, we have the vertical ridging. These are pitting 
more from psoriasis, okay? And then we have clubbing. So clubbing would be more like a nail that kind of goes off the, you, just the edge of it, it clubs at the end. So when you see it, it, it kind of protrudes out at the end. And that clubbing can be caused by decreased oxygen flow. So low iron can be a big cause of that one. So low iron and clubbing is a big one. Um, also, any kind of respiratory distress, congenital heart issues, respiratory, COPD issue, COPD issues, chronic obstructive pulmonary disorder, things that decrease oxygen getting into your body. You can see this clubbing that happens there as well. Those are the big patterns that we're seeing. Now, from a functional medicine perspective, what does this mean? We're looking at key nutrients. We're looking at iron. We're looking at autoimmune stuff because the autoimmunity connects back to the gut. We're looking at vitamin and minerals, fatty acids, amino acids, collagen amino acids, B vitamins, B12. We're look also looking at key fat soluble vitamins, we may be doing deeper gut testing to dive deeper in to what's happening in the gut. We know that adrenal health is so important and that sympathetic nervous system when it's activated really decreases enzymes and HCL activation. So it makes it harder for us to digest and break down our food. So we may look deeper at the adrenals, see how the adrenals are doing, look at the gut's doing, make sure enzyme levels are good, make sure there's not any infections or gut stressors that could be holding us back from digesting our food. So when we look at our nails, this gives us a window into our body. We may give nutrients to support it. We may give digestive support, and we're gonna definitely look deeper at the hormones, the stress handling systems. We may test some of these nutrient deficiencies. And we may also test out the gut function as well. All right, this is Dr. J signing up. Hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, hit that bell, smash that like button. Put your comments down below and let me know about what your fingernails uh, look like and what you've done and if you've noticed change over time. Again, this is Dr. J signing off. You all have a phenomenal day. Take care. Bye now.